Hey, what's up guys? Uh, here doing my first YouTube video. I'm doing my tool belt tutorial. Um, this is uh, a side gear tool belt. It's a replica of a Oxizone 7 bag leather framer. Um, I was going to go with an Oxizone, but decided to try to explore my options, see what I can find out there similar to Oxizone uh, for, you know, for cheaper price. So I uh, was exploring on Home Depot's online and came across this uh, site gear and seen that it was still a little pricey. So I figured I'd check on Amazon, see if they would have it. And they had it for a little, little, little cheaper than, than Home Depot. So I went with this. Um, as you can see, it's, it's pretty much a replica of the Oxidone 7 bag leather framer, all, all leather. Um, so far, it's a, it's a good tool belt. I have no complaints so far. Um, but if you're looking, other, if you're looking to get a reasonable price tool belt um, and you can't afford an Oxidone, then check into this one. It's a pretty good brand. So, so let's start off on the right side, which is the tool side. And, and if you are left-handed, if anybody has questions about that, you can change these belts around, pouches around, to where if you're left-handed, you can put your, this on the left side, vice versa. But Stanley Fat Max, 25-foot tape. Good tape, you usually carry a Milwaukee, but um, I've been doing siding, so this is great with the little ears. You get behind the J-channel and everything. But I took the clip off on the back side was snug getting in there but fits great now can fit it to a 30 footer uh, Dewalt utility knife I got my beauty chisel here that I use um, got my pencil and my Milwaukee marker so when I'm doing siding I uh, write measurements on the on the wall visible C good marker I got uh, my end nippers here. These are my channel lock ones. Um, good brand to, to get. Uh, awesome, awesome tool. I got my Empire Magnetic Torpedo Level. I got my 5-in-1. I got my little trim bar here so if we're reusing the trim in the house or we're at a customer's house and they want to reuse it or reuse this trim but it's a delicate trim expensive trim and you got to be careful taking it off this guy's good for that I got my center punch here this is an automatic one um, Typically, I use this for cabinets, setting knobs, handles, things like that. Um, if you ain't got the jig to do that, get your measurements for center. Once you got it, push it on there, punch it, and then it helps you guide your drill bit on there so it don't slip or anything like that. So that's what this guy's used for. I got my compass for when I do drywall, kind of for, for lights or for siding, you know, cutting around things you need a good good circle uh, use that use what I use that for and then uh, this guy here is my Klein screwdriver awesome screwdriver it's got the double sided bit um, a lot of them have the shaft comes out and it's got another bit on the inside but this one's unique this is a ratcheting one so you got a ratchet one there and then if you don't like the ratchet part, it's got a fixed setting to where it's back to a regular screwdriver. But what's awesome about this screwdriver is you got this guy down here. Just pulling that on the end. And you got a little compartment on the inside. Um, holds up a lot of bits in there, which is very useful. Um, very, very cool um, you know, add-on for the screwdriver. Um, it's awesome that Klein did that. So, 
and then there might be a magnet on the inside to keep this people probably wonder if this is going to wear out and keep falling out but i think there's a magnet built inside of these not 100 sure but awesome awesome tool but screw that over and i got my chalk line dewalt i put high vise in my orange in mine easy to see extra bits on the job side you never come you never know um, people use different types of head screws all the time so i always have to keep extra different bits in there for that and that's basically it on uh the right side go to the left here um got my speed square milwaukee i just like that it's got extra scribes and it goes up the quarter inch so that's pretty handy there um this little pocket here just puts miscellaneous whatever screws or whatever the case may be i'm doing for the job usually keep extra stuff in that pocket keep side nails different sizes in these two two pockets here um nail punch so if i'm doing soft or whatever I stick my nail in there and helps guide it in easier nail set and I got an extra pencil. I got my six inch uh, drill bit extension. Good for hard to reach areas. I got my gutter bit, natural gutter bit. Awesome bit. In this pocket here, I use my trim nails. A lot of people put their chalk lines in that one, but I use that for my trim nails. And then I got my six inch combination square from Empire. Um, great little, great little tool. If you want to do, you know, trim, you can set it, set it to a quarter inch for your trim reveal. It's got a little scribe on the bottom. If you ain't got a pencil handy, you can scribe it with this guy here. And then um, I got my cat's paw. I got a Milwaukee. But basically, that is my tool belt. Like I said, this is a sight gear, and so far it's it's doing me good. And a lot of people, you know, when you take the tool belt off, um, the belt pat the pouches slide all around. It doesn't take long once you get them on to adjust them. But what I did was is I set my pouches to what I liked, where it's comfortable on me, and. I actually took some Chicago screws here, as you can see, right here. And on the back side over here, on both sides, to uh, fix my pouches. So when I take it off, they won't move anywhere. So at any time I put it back on, it's right where it needs to be. Um, waiting for my Occidental suspender kit to come in so I can do the same thing. I'm going to attach them to my tool belt and then use my old suspenders my suspension rig on but that's my tool belt sight gear look on home depot or amazon and that's about it